Guys, Universal Audio might have just changed the game for us guitar players. I woke up this morning doing my normal routine and I haven't even warmed up on guitar yet and I found out they just released plugins for their modeling pedals. We all know their modeling pedals are really, really incredible, but Universal Audio is known for their plugins. So I believe they just released three of them in I got access to them through their Spark program. You can get like a bunch of their plugins uh, for like $20 a month. And right now they have the model of their Deluxe Reverb, their Marshall, the Lion, uh, and then the Ruby, which is the Vox kind of AC sound. So we're going to be trying those out in today's video. And I have a sneaking suspicion they might be better than any other guitar plugin that's out right now. All right, let's get set up and see how these sound. All right, so I just got them downloaded and I got them pulled up. And as, as you can see on the screen, we're gonna be starting with the Dream 65, a deluxe reverb. If you would like to support me and this channel, go check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Over there, you'll find tons of great guitar lessons, all with tab covering scales, licks, techniques, and much more. You also get early access to videos and you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's get back to the video. Let's get that spring reverb cranked. Alright, I'm turning the bright off. I feel like it's too bright. Let's try the tremolo. I'm getting a crack. Is that Is that this boost? That's nice. Now let's turn that level up. It's like it goes into instant distortion. One thing I they emulated how the re reverb w would react because it kind of that's how it would react if you cranked up that amp. All right, but we got to get going because let's try a few more sounds. Actually, let's go through some presets. We got to try out some of their other amp models. Uh, let's go, let's go, yeah, let's go try this one out. That's crazy. Let's go back to the cleans real quick. Let's try whatever this sounds like. Reacts to the volume knob perfectly. That's a big deal for me. All right, one more, one more, one more. Ooh. All right, we gotta get moving on. Uh, I don't wanna be here all day. This is a quick little check. So that's the dream reverb. I think it sounds incredible. Let me know down below what you're thinking. Um, I'm gonna save the Lion for last because I actually tried the real unit out for uh, quite a period of time. I compared it to the Freeman IRX, um, and we're gonna see how it is. But we're gonna go to the Ruby next. Oh, I've, I just noticed there's the room knob up here. 
So you can easily kind of blow, throw that in there, which is, wait a second, I just thought of something I'm going to have to try. I'm going to have to try running my amp in here and then using the speaker simulations on here with that, because that room sound is so, so incredible. That's going to be interesting. I think I, well, that's assuming I can turn the amp off. We might not be able to do that, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's just go through these presets here, try them out. Sounds incredible, obviously, right? Now, I've never played these units, so I don't know. I would assume this sounds better than the actual unit itself. I, I, I'm not sure, but. A little bit of harshness uh, in the highs there, I wish. There's a lot of compression going on, but that probably makes sense because I'm pretty sure that's a probably a 110 speaker right there, and those are gonna kind of build up in the range of compression, so. It's like you can switch microphones. Wait, can you? Oh no, wait, maybe you can't. I can turn that boost off. I'm getting a ton of noise. I don't know if it's from my lights, but, or if that's just the plug-in. I like that fuzz. They had the, the low end. Emulation pretty good there. Let's try some more presets. Oh, I like that. A little bit of harsh. Let's uh, let's try the treble down, I think. What does that do? Oh, there it goes. The cut. I'm not very experienced with the voxes. The cut seeming to help. That's just like a high cut. And also, I have no other effects on it. It's literally just a plug-in, so that's what you're hearing. You know, say we wanted to move cabs. I guess that's got a little bit bigger of a sound, a little bit more mid. They did a good job in emulating that low end fuzz. I feel like that's a hard thing to emulate. And they did a really good job. Let's try one more. We're moving on to the lion. I like that. Turn the room down though. Yeah, they did the low end good. That's that's a good thing right there. That looks great. Now, I can really speak on this one because I've had the real unit. I'm going to tell you this right now. Definitely better than the real unit right here. Now, obviously, you can't go out and gig it, but you know if you're in the at, at the house in the studio recording, let's just uh, go through some of the presets. I was wondering about that. Is there, there is a gate. Okay, cool. Let's just go through the presets right now. Do they have brown? Yes. See, that's one thing I find with modelers, that high gain, they get that scratchy, like... It's 
static you sound. Uh, that's way too much distortion. Let's go to another preset. Oh, here we go. All in the watch hour. Are you kidding me? <laughs> interested if I can turn off the amp because the you know they're really known for their speaker sound so I know I can turn the speaker off but can I turn the amp off so I can use I doubt they're gonna let me do that because that sounds like it's too good to be true if I did was able to do that let's go to another one that sounds incredible oh well, yeah <laughs> This preset with the knob, my knob on like eight. Still getting some harshness on that high end that I'm not loving. Now we are in the digital plugin world. I could go EQ that out. I, I'm not gonna do it at the moment. Um, let's see if switch through. Turn that bright cap off. Nice, let's go to the brown. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the super high gain. Uh, it gets muddy. Let's try this. That though, right there. Let's turn the room up a little bit. That's awesome. All righty. Try out a few more. ZZ. there so that was the sounds now i don't know if there's other ways of getting these pedals 
outside of the Universal Audio Spark. I assume you could probably buy these too. I would have to, let me just look up on the website to give you guys some more information. Okay, so they are right now, each of these plugins, if you were to own them, is $150 right now. And it says it, that's 50% off. It says they want $300 uh, for these plugins. I didn't know that. I kind of maybe should have known that before the video. <laughs> that does kind of change things. Um, 150 that's, I mean, I think that's even more than some of the neural or a lot of them. I'm a fan though. Uh, I like it. I like the the look of it. I like the ecosystem of it. Uh, will I use these? I might use these sometimes. You know, if I'm traveling, um, and obviously I'm not going to bring that everywhere. Yeah, I think totally I can pull out some sounds in the line that will get me by where I can just plug right into my interface. But as far as owning it, now I've already been using the Spark kind of program for a while. Um, I, I use their other plugins all the time. I love their other plugins. So I don't know if it's worth just buying outright. That's for you to decide, right? But I will say it sounds and feels great. Now I feel like these have a lot of built-in compression going on. Which you might like. I'm not a, the biggest fan of com so much compression. But it does make playing very, very easy. Like, that sounds great. Like, So in my opinion, uh, I think I'm going to title this video something about are these the best guitar plugins. I, They are very expensive, but overlooking the price say they like package these all together for 150 i think this would be incredible um I, now looking at the price like full on i think that's insane kind of um hopefully you can get a free trial or something but i do the spark i think it's 20 dollars a month totally worth it for me personally i don't know you guys decide let me know down below what you think of these plugins I think they're absolutely incredible. Um, it's definitely gonna, I'm not gonna have an urge to go buy another guitar plugin because I can just, $20 a month, I get all three of these. Uh, and for, uh, I can really see the use for me in like producing tracks, um, you know, going and grab like the dream and having a beautiful clean sound with awesome spring reverb. And then I can go to another sound uh, real quick to spice it up. I think that's absolutely incredible. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think and I'll see you guys back next time.